Right, what we're here to do today is to check the Bravo brake pedal creep. If I come in under here like this, with the engine not running, it creeps away. It seems to sort of like get to the bottom stage of the master cylinder and then stays. The brakes still work, the ABS still cuts in, but that look at the travel on that brake, it's terrible. It gets harder as you pump it, but you can still see it's getting away, it's getting away, it's getting away. Now, if I do this in my... You see that? As soon as the servo assist came on, it just disappeared. Now, originally I thought, well, it's got to be master cylinder. Yeah, look at it. It's, that's absolutely terrible. But, let's just turn the... Uh, Blow us down, can you be able to hear me? Yeah, look at it. The brakes still work, the ABS still work. It absolutely stops like hell, but that's not right. Um, that's why I want to diagnose it. So what I'm gonna do, so that I can test the brake servo assist, brake booster as they call it in the in America, in the United States, uh, I'm going to put two bungs in the master cylinder on, to, on the two lines that run to the ABS pump unit. Now, if this then is okay, it means that the, the, um, it's the ABS unit or the brakes. The, the problem is further down the line than the master cylinder and the brake booster unit. So let's give that a try now. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take those two lines. Let's come around here, I might be able to see that a little bit better. We're going to take those two lines off and we're going to bung the holes up with these, which I've made. And these are just standard brake fittings. These are 12 by one millimeter. Um, and as you can see, all I've done is just get a bit of pipe there, flare it over and bend it over. Um, not sure quite how well that'll seal. We'll see when I put some pressure on it. But I'm going to take this off and this off, block it up. That way, when we apply pressure to the brakes, if the servo is working, and the master cylinder is working, the brakes will be rock solid, and that will mean that the brake creep I've got is further down the lines, which is obviously ultimately across to the ABS unit hiding down here. You can just about see the block where the two lines go into the top there. It's a bit awkward there. One finger on there, one there. Not the easiest things to get at. But obviously that is expensive and I want to know that it's definitely that or the brakes um, that uh, are at fault before I, I go somewhere else. Obviously being the most expensive piece, um, what I plan to do is check the rest of the brakes, go around and check the pads and the calipers and the springs and everything else first because obviously that will be free because replacing that is going to be a lot of money. Okay, so there's the bungs fitted into the master cylinder. I've had to clamp these with um, because it's not a brilliant seal there. I tested it and there was a little bit of leak out of that. All it is, it's just a piece of pipe that's bent over. But anyway, that's sealed it. So now we can go and test, start the engine and see if it makes any difference. Let's just get this away because it's near the exhaust. Let's go around. Engine running. And that's, yeah, that's stiff as a board. Absolutely rock solid. Means that we are not losing pressure. Yeah, I am putting all my weight on that. That is absolutely rock solid. We are not losing pressure from the brake assister, the servo unit, and the master cylinder. It is not leaking around the master cylinder. It has to be outside that, which means that it's got to be the ABS unit or the brakes themselves. So that gives us a chance to get a little bit further down the line and not uh, have to replace the master cylinder.